Today on GoAskRed.com, we're going to explore how to install a light switch from rough in to switch installation. We begin today's tutorial by measuring from the top of the unfinished floor up to a distance of personal preference. Some people prefer to measure 46 inches to a range of 52. My preference for today's tutorial will rest at 48 inches. Although a speed square is not necessary at this stage, it can be useful. Place the bottom edge of your single gain electrical box along the line you have marked and start swinging. Grab a screwdriver and a hammer and knock out the punch outs in the back of your electrical box, one at the bottom and one at the top. With your punch outs clear, feed in your electrical wire. For today's demonstration, we're using 14-2 electrical wire. Use your utility knife to score the top and bottom edge of your electrical wire. With that done, you can simply pull the sheathing and it will come loose. Both your white and black wires are individually insulated. It's important to remember to not cut into those wires as you make your cuts and pull off the outside coating. Pull off the paper wrapping of your ground wires. Depending on where you live, your local electrical code may require you to leave at least 6 inches of wire. Measure 6 and cut off the rest. Next, use a pair of wire strippers to pull off approximately three quarters of an inch off the tips of each wire. Since we're using 14-2 electrical wire, we'll be using the number 14 stripper. After stripping your wires, Locate your two identical white wires. Use a pair of pliers and twist the tips in a clockwise manner. It's important to remember to twist clockwise. Going in reverse would be bad for the next step. A wire nut is required to secure your connection. Place the wire nut at the end of your connection and twist clockwise. After the white wire, you'll now need to tie together your bare copper ground wire. For this particular installation, we will add what is commonly referred to as a pigtail. A pigtail is simply an additional single wire approximately 6 inches long. Twist the three bare copper wires together and cap it off with another wire nut. At this part of the installation, we're ready to call it done for today. Simply fold your wires up in an accordion-like fashion and push into the back of the box. After your electrical inspection, and when you've installed your sheetrock, you'll be ready to continue. Pull your wires out and get started. Take a pair of needle nose pliers to the end of your black wires and twist in 180 degrees, making a nice, neat loop. At this time, you're ready to install your single pole light switch. Place your first black loop 
in a clockwise manner around the first screw. Twist and tighten. Make sure you have a very, very tight connection. Repeat the process for your second black wire. Loop in a clockwise manner and tighten it down. Make sure you have a tight connection. Once again, use your needle nose pliers to create a 180 degree loop for your bare copper ground wire. With your loop created, hook the green ground screw in a clockwise manner and tighten down on the wire. You are now ready to insert your light switch into the electrical box. Shove your wires in the back in an accordion-like manner, and then push your light switch into the cavity. For your last step, simply line up your light switch to the center of your outlet box and put the screws in. Congratulations, you should now have a working light switch.